All right, hey guys. Today I got a different kind of video for you today. Um, I'm going to show you some bunch of sites we can get free audiobooks legally. These are like classic stories and stuff. And they also, I'm also going to show you one with more contemporary stuff. But I'm going to first start out with uh, BookshouldBeFree.com. Now the main reason I'm doing this is an alternative to Audible. I've seen been seeing Audible like being advertised pretty much everywhere. I've actually used it. And I actually like it, but it's fifteen dollars a month, and I don't read that many books. Or I think it's fifteen dollars. I don't remember the exact price. I only I did the free trial. Anyway, so this first site is my new favorite site. It's BookshouldBeFree.com. These are the top books they have. They have mostly classic stuff. I don't know if they have any more of the contemporary, uh, lesser-known authors thing. As you can see here, some pretty big-name stuff. Uh, let's go back to the top. That's where most of the bigger ones are. Like they have Jane Eyre, Sherlock Holmes, The Art of War. All this is audiobooks you can download for free. Um, one of the ones I'm reading right now is Sherlock Holmes. I like the TV show Sherlock, and I wanted to see where it started. So the first one is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. You can click it here. You get a nice little cover artwork. Very nicely laid out website. You can stream it. You don't even have to download the book. You can stream it right here. And we can just click this to start it. Um, they have different formats. They have ebook Jack formats. See? The, adventures. the reading voice is actually pretty good for the ones I've heard. But see, they have Kindle format. There's text file if you want to read it in the text reader. Ebook. They even have a iTunes audiobook format. So if you have an iPod or i phone or whatever you can just download that and the mp3 download um that's pretty much all you could ever need i mean anything that can play audio files you can you can get it right here with the mp3 download you could actually download and burn that to a cd if you wanted to um the next one is librivox this is where most of the, um, files for books should be free come from librivox here you can actually um, volunteer to read a book and then actually have it put on the site. Of course, it will have to be a public domain book. You can't just read like The Hobbit or whatever and have it posted here. And you can also go browse through their catalog, LibriVox.org. Uh, they have a bunch of books here. I haven't actually used the site as much since the layout's not as good. I uh, see. It's a little bit more complicated. They still do have like the iTunes, the RSS feed, and they even have a torrent, funny enough, for something free. And public domain. The last one is podiobooks.com. This is a pretty cool site. This is the first audiobook site I tried out. They have a bunch of pretty cool books. I uh, haven't been here in a while, but they actually have newer stuff. Firmware Hijack. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, so you can um, you can actually tip the author or buy the book if you like it. And many of these books are actually read by the author themselves, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't remember what the one I most recently read was. I think it was like Cybrosis. I think it was. It was a pretty cool science fiction type thing. I didn't actually finish it. Um, just because I, I don't remember why, but I didn't finish it. Anyway, um, that's basically the main sites I was going to tell you about. Um, and actually to listen to them, since you get the MP3 download, you could just put them on your um, MP3 player. But if you have an Android device, there's this pretty cool app called Beyond Pod. It's mainly for podcasts, but it also has some audiobooks in their feeds too. So if you just bring up this thing and click search, I was able to actually search for Sherlock Holmes and able to actually download one of the audiobooks directly from this app and play it in this app. There are probably some other uh, audiobook apps. I'll link some in the description if I find some ones that you can actually play your um, downloaded audiobooks better. But, I mean, for just the MP3s, you can just use like any MP3 player. Uh, for the iTunes thing, you should be able to uh, import this into iTunes, so it's pretty easy to use. So yeah, that's mainly what I wanted to show you guys. They have a bunch of pretty cool stuff here, especially classics if you want to get your audiobook reading on, or if you just want to learn more stuff, I suggest you check out these three sites, and also the uh, software I suggested. It's pretty cool. I'm using the free version right now, but they have a paid version with some new features which they didn't outline very well, so yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you really, if you get into audiobooks a lot, I suggest actually checking out Audible. It has a lot better a selection and a lot more big name books. These are mainly just um, older stories, as you can see, because they're public domain. They can't play like the most newest books, like I just said. So, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Bye.